Boom shakalaka! I'd buy that for a dollar! Hey guys, it's Vash, and I'm back with more E3 discussions and impressions. We are now going to be talking about the EA press conference. Now this video is actually going to be a lot shorter than the other ones, just because EA really didn't bring anything to the table. Um, they did have quite a few games that were interesting, but uh, n not enough, I guess. <laughs> Um, their show was basically nothing but sports, and if you know me, I do not play any sports games, so we're just going to talk about set, you know, certain ones. So the press conference opens up with a, an adorable little mini documentary on the development of Star Wars Battlefront. So, uh, Star Wars Battlefront was actually announced last year. When I saw the trailer for it, I, I started freaking out. I love Star Wars Battlefront. It's so much fun. I remember, I have very, very awesome memories of that game, playing it for hours and hours. I still have it. Let me look at my shelf. Where is it? I should still have it. I definitely should still have it. I would never get rid of that game or give it away. But I remember playing that game online with Yoshi and our other friend Rashad. We used to, that was like one of our first games that we would play online together. We used to play SOCOM. But once that got old, we used to play the shit out of Battlefront. And it was so much fun just doing that, like, Cantina Jedi level and just be fighting for this mountain. It's awesome. I actually heard that Battlefront 2 um, is still on PC for Steam. And I think the servers are still going on. I'll have to double check. Or maybe they shut down recently? I can't remember. I think they shut them down recently, like, in the past, like, couple weeks. But, um... If it's still online, I'm going to have to cop it again and play it. That shit was fun. That game is awesome. Um, they show in the video, um, they go to like a, 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 a LucasArts museum, and it shows like all the old props and stuff from the original movies that they used. And it was just amazing seeing all those things, like all those miniatures, and it looks so great. They, they went and visited the places where they filmed the movie so they can get like an idea of it. And I just, the only thing I didn't like about the whole, that trailer is that they, they didn't show a shit. They just showed that they're working on the game and they're trying to tenderly embrace it and make sure that they do a good job. Because Star Wars is one of those franchises that people are extremely touchy about. And if one thing is out of order or off, people go fucking ham. And I totally understand how they're trying to take their time with this game and make sure everything is perfect. So... Star Wars Battlefront, can't wait, super excited. Next game they were talking about is The Sims 4. Now, I love The Sims. I know that sounds kind of fruity, but I, I love The Sims. I absolutely adore The Sims. Um, I haven't played much of The Sims 3 because it was a little... Uh, there, was some, some, there were certain things that I couldn't figure out because I didn't have a manual. Because I bought it off Steam. And I love having a manual. But I remember spending very very long long nights playing the sims all night losing a lot of sleep having to get up and go to school the next day get like two and a half hours of sleep because i had a uh i had a family called the the ferdinand family and that was like the first family that i actually it was, that took so fucking long to make that family it was like i had okay so i had a family and then they had a kid and i had another family that had a kid and then I had to play each family individually to make sure the kid grew up on both sides. Then I had to meet, had them get married, have kids. And then my fucking save data got corrupted and I hated my life for the rest. Just I was so mad because I literally put easily like two or 300 hours into The Sims. This was Sims 2, by the way. Sims 1, I played the shit out of also. Um, I, I played a lot of it. I didn't have a computer that could really run it, so I would play it at my, at my cousin's house all the time. Um, I used to I used to play The Sims busting out on PS2 nonstop. I love The Sims. Sims 3, I didn't play that much, but I, I didn't put nowhere near as much time as I did in 1, 2, and busting out. But I did play it quite a lot. I, I remember Brain used to play the shit out of Sims Sims 3. He had a, <laughs> he had a character named Bartholomew that would just... He was just fucking shit up, and then he'd get lost. It was the most hilarious shit ever. I should have recorded that, man. That was fucking bootleg. But The Sims 4, they were talking about how, like, now you can control The Sims, like, emotions. 
and stuff. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work. Like, they were, they showed, like, an example of how, like, oh, he's a hothead, so, and this grandma likes to talk shit to people, and he told a joke to the grandma. She wasn't pleased, so she whipped his ass. He got mad and went and started pumping the iron at the gym. Like, uh, that makes sense, you know? That, I've, that, that doesn't seem like something new to me. That seems just like normal sim shit. Honestly. I don't... I honestly didn't see a big jump between Sims 2 and 3. Besides the loading times significantly improving. Because the loading times in The Sims 2 was fucking gross. They were horrible. In The Sims 3, I there were a few very big changes... Like, the fact that the whole world grew together, you didn't have to play as individual families to, you know, continue with their lives. The whole fa- the whole town kind of grew together. And I also how the whole town was in real time, so you can go visit other people without having to load. That was really good. I'm not sure, besides this whole emotion thing, what they're going to do with 4. I will pr- most likely be getting it when it comes out, just like I did all <laughs> 1, 2, and 3. Um... I don't know. I I re- I didn't really get to see this one at E3 because it was a uh, it was like a 30 minute long show behind uh, closed doors. And to tell you the truth, there was other shit that I wanted to see <laughs> that was more important on my list to The Sims 4. Next thing I'd like to talk about is Mirror's Edge 2. Now, as soon as they started showing Mirror's Edge 2, I started fucking freaking out because if you didn't know this, I, I love Mirror's Edge. It was one of my, it's, well, it, it is one of my favorite games that I really enjoyed. I did a playthrough of it a very long time ago, back when I had the technically whisper during my playthroughs because I shared a room with my brother and I could only record in the middle of the night when he's asleep. So I had to talk very, very low to make sure that I didn't wake him up. You know, <laughs> back in the day, right? Back way in the day. Um, Mirror's Edge 2, it was more of like a developer's diary than a trailer. It was explaining how Faith became who she is in Mirror's Edge 1. Um, it showed off, um, like, why she has the the data-looking tattoo and the little thing under her eye that I thought was makeup. I don't know if that was a tattoo on her face. I thought that was makeup, dude. But she has that hardcore-ass tattoo under her eye. It just the I'm guessing it's a prequel if it's supposed to be if she hasn't if she's just getting her tattoos, so it's a prequel to Mirror's Edge. It's supposed to explain how she is. One thing that I don't really like about prequels is I don't like how a character, like evidently a game comes out and then when the next one comes out years or so later, it's of course going to be a lot better and more improved. One thing I don't like about certain like prequels is like you can obviously tell. That this is a better game. And you think about it like. If Faith. You know is a grown ass woman in this one. How come she's not as badass. As she is in the prequel. But it's. it's you know what I You know what I mean right. It's like. It's like you can tell that. The game is just better. It plays better. But then you think about it like that sucks. She was a, she's a lot cooler in the prequel. And, you know, she's kind of primitive. And you know throwing rocks and. Playing with sticks and shit. You get what I mean, right? But they were showing the combat, how it's fluid. They were explaining in the trailer how they wanted to make sure Faith was extremely fast and deadly. And they showed a lot of, like, wall running and kicking people in the face and, and, like, sliding under legs and whipping dudes' ass super fast. Like, that looks awesome. I can't wait. I really love the whole, like, free running thing. Even though at first when I played the game, the whole first person free running thing I was getting like a headache because like her head be swinging all over the fucking place just like the first kill zone when you throw a grenade I was like about to throw up from motion sickness but Mirror's Edge 2 I think they could have showed us more less on the technical side of explaining what's going on and more of like gameplay and well they did show a lot of gameplay one more I don't care give it to me you know what I mean I just don't I want to play it already. Mirror's Edge came out a very long time ago. And it is about damn time that they're working on Mirror's Edge 2. And I don't think they even gave a release window or date. or They didn't give shit. They just were like, hey, bro, we're working on it. So, you know, pull your britches back up and stop beating your meat. It's coming. Because you're going to start chafing because it ain't coming no time soon. But definitely super hyped for Mirror's Edge. Um, the last thing at the EA press conference that I wanted to mention was uh, Battlefield Hardline. 
Now, when I first saw the trailer, I was looking at it, and I'm like, what the hell is this? Is this like EA's first-person Grand Theft Auto? Like, I thought that maybe EA was going to, you know, just try to capitalize on the fact that GTA V did so well and make their own, like, first-person or, you know, just some stupid shit that I honestly don't give a crap about. But as I started watching it, I was like, wow, this this game is pretty, is looking pretty good. Like, what is this? And then I started to notice during the gameplay that the sniper shots are extremely similar to another game that EA makes. And uh, the HUD and the way the characters move, I started slowly noticing what it was. And I was completely blown away by the trailer. I don't even really like first-person shooters that much, and this game looks like a lot of fun. Now, it doesn't look like something super amazing or like, oh my god, this is just, just, just fucking life-changing. No, it it just looks like a lot of fun. After the trailer ended, they showed that it is a new Battlefield game, and I was like, what? Battlefield? I actually prefer Battlefield over Call of Duty. If I have to play a first-person shooter, I'd prefer that one. Mostly because I have more friends that play Battlefield and we just kind of do silly shit. So I have, you know, fonder memories of Battlefield. But when I saw that trailer, I could totally see, like, me, Nitsua, and Zen playing that game. Because they're the guys that I play all the time with. And I can absolutely see us enjoying that. And I was like, what? Battlefield? And as soon as he said, like, we're going to take it a step further and and the beta's available now. I have never fucking dove over my dove at my computer so fast. I'm so glad it was on. Of course it was on because I was watching the stream, jackass. But I, I opened up a new tab and went and signed up for that bitch. Woo-wee. And I haven't played it yet either. That was like a week ago. Damn. It's because I've been too busy. I'm, I'm slipping. I hope it doesn't end anytime soon because I haven't gotten a chance to play it yet. But... I need to. I need to get another code so I can give it to Nitsua so we can we can have some funsies. But that was about it. At EA's press conference, they then started talking about uh, fucking FIFA. Like anyone cares. I'm sure a lot of people do care. I don't. I'm sorry. That's insulting. Whatever. I don't care. Um, they talked about Madden. Don't fucking care. They talked about the hockey. Who gives a shit? I didn't even know hockey still existed. Well, yes, I I did. I'm kidding. I just don't watch it. They talked about UFC. They had Bruce Lee. That looked pretty good. Just because I like to whip people's ass. Now, once UFC goes down in price, I will be picking that up definitely. But as of right now, there's other shit that my money needs to be saved for this month. Because I think Sniper Elite V3 comes out at the end of this month. So, and the Lego movie came out today. (laughs) Sorry, UFC, but everything is awesome. Not you, though. Um... They, they started going on about their sports. I, I honestly went and like, used the bathroom and didn't even look at it. I did watch the UFC presentation. That was probably the only thing I paid attention to. But then, you know, EA jumps into their whole sports shit, and I don't care. I think they did talk about Mass Effect? Huh. I think they did. I rewatched EA's press conference, but I kind of skimmed it. I might have missed it. I think they did mention a Mass Effect game something or was that another or was that another thing i saw i do remember that someone mentioning something about mass effect or something similar to mass effect or or i think there was a dragon age trailer i i don't know uh if you guys know please let me know in in i was about i keep saying in the description <laughs> you guys don't read that in the comment section below um i can't remember if they mentioned a mass effect game but i know they mentioned something similar to that like dragon age or I think they did talk about Dragon Age. Um, but I do remember them talking about some kind of Mass Effect something. I don't fucking know. I'd have to, I guess I'll have to go rewatch that right now. But that's all I really got to say about the EA press conference. Overall, the it, uh, overall, even though EA did have some heavy hitters for me, I was surprised that they didn't announce a new um, uh, Dead Space game. But then I'm also not surprised because I really hated Dead Space 3. I did not like it at all. And I have no idea how they can continue the story. Because it's just going to shit. In my opinion. I did, I thought Dead Space 3 was disgusting. 
So I'm not surprised. I was surprised and not surprised. Because I'm like surprised. Like what? Dead Space is like their hype new shit. But then, oh, Dead Space 3 didn't do that well if I recall correctly. So it makes sense that they didn't say anything about that. There, There's only like four games on my list that I actually gave a shit about. But please below let me know what you guys think. Uh, were there games that you were disappointed that they didn't mention? Were there games that you talked about that were talked about that you were really hyped for? I know Mirror's Edge. Hype as fuck for that. Star Wars Battlefront. Um, please let me know in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you guys in the next discussion video.